Hey, what's happening there, guys? Alton McFall here, the 25th of January, 2024, almost said 23. You know you live in a poor area when you look out your window and there's another old building as old as yours, literally just so many feet away. And it's in much more decrepit shape on the outside than the, in the inside and then this place combined. Uh, yes, I just, just finished this LaRue snowblower for one of my fans and followers who owns this company. I don't know if he started it or not, but anyway, this is from a picture I took, uh, from the snow removal on Emile Pomeville Street in Ville Saint-Pierre from, uh, I guess it was early December. And, um, I also used another picture actually for, that was actually in the sunshine like this that I took uh last year last season i guess uh but the funny thing is it was actually on the corner of uh saint pierre and saint jacques waiting at the light and then you know the smoke is blowing out of there and everything while it's idling and and i literally the the camera i had that little freaking canon camera you know wasn't the best for like you know sharpest picture and all that but man that thing would zoom several several yards away from notre dame street anyway unfortunately i can't show you that because it's in my phone and i don't feel like really going on and turning my computer and making a long-winded thing about it all anyway those of you guys you know me long enough uh, if there's one thing you can never say is that i'm full of shit which i'm not and uh, yeah my glasses are still off because again i was you know fixing up getting the phone ready and closing windows and opening windows and I, and when i paint usually i don't have my glasses on anyway because uh you know they're made to see well from far not not from cl not from close up right so and uh, anyway, this was really a fun and great way to start uh, the year and start a series of paintings as I just posted, uh, excuse me, on, uh, boy, you know, it's never room temperature necessarily eh, when you have to, you know, wipe your nose like that. It's runny a bit. I'm not sick. I'm well. I'm fully recovered. Well, fully. It's a little slight pain down there with a the hernia was, uh, you know, uh, screwed around with. Just kidding. Operate on. But I'm pretty much 100%. If only we could get the goddamn sunshine. You know, these meteorologists at Environment Canada, I, I don't know, like, seriously, I really think they should get a pay cut. Like, how many times do they say there's going to be sun and, and it hardly ever is? They said today, mix the sun and cloud. I called Grant earlier and I said, that's bullshit. He says, he, he says yeah, it's going to be cloud and cloud. Yeah, exactly. The sun, you know, when the freaking sun's going to show up at 430 when it's getting dark. It's just, oh, it hasn't been a grueling winter because of cold, really. It's just, again, like, almost no sun it's like we're in freaking bc it's like they sent us their weather and they're gonna say well you know it's because of el nino could be because of el nino probably is not necessarily you can't really believe everything you hear but one thing you can believe besides me i've painting this and haven't taken and haven't done those paintings yep still have the cadillac still have the meteor uh if you're ever interested in this it's uh, you know very reasonably priced i'll send you a couple of pics so obviously you want to see there's one of my original photos. There's a 75 Chevy Impala hubcap. There's a collage I did. But anyway, so I'm hoping that uh, Mr. So-and-so uh, that follows my videos, that runs this company, is going to purchase this. And uh, it would be terrific. Unlike Buddy, who I thought was going to buy that Cadillac painting of his Cadillac. Uh, with all due respect, I won't mention any names. But, uh, yeah, and I figure if he doesn't, uh, if my guy here who owns this company follows my videos, and I never met him, it just seems like a nice guy, you know. I've had the honor of filming this blower and others for years doing snow removal because actually the first, as I mentioned, as I mentioned actually in a video not long, uh, I think uh, recently a snow removal I filmed the last week, I pretty much started doing this snow removal filming business, you know what I mean? I started when I was in Ville Saint-Pierre, I lived on Zuchelet Street for three years, and that's where I started from my balcony window. And of course, this guy here, he's had the marina company in Ville Saint-Pierre there on Saint-Joseph. They've had the contract for, I think, probably not just many years, probably even decades, because I think they kept the area, even though Ville Saint-Pierre merged with Lachine in uh, 2000, 2001. I don't know what it is about this freaking camera. It has always a propensity to change certain colors. Like the yellow here, like from where I'm looking at it, it doesn't look like school bus yellow. Because the, the way I painted this thing, it's more like an orange yellow. And it's looking more yellow. And in, in, in I guess it's the light compensation, which is great sometimes, like, you know, at night, at dark. But other than that, yeah. Anyway, like I said, it was a fun project, and uh, if my guy doesn't buy this, I'm sure one of you guys will. Hell, maybe even the LaRue company will buy it. 
Uh, okay, I didn't do that 100%, but I actually, believe it or not, in the pictures I used, and even what I found online, I couldn't find a picture. That's the older logo. So, meaning older, I think this blower uh, was probably originally made by S Snowmaster Industries, and it would originally have had a Detroit, but was replaced with a Cummins. And uh, I think it was probably rebuilt by LaRue, maybe. Uh, I know the front motor is a GM. The rear that drives the, uh, the blower is a rear engine, which is a Cummins diesel. And that's how these work. So, you know, one motor for the blower, one motor for the driving the vehicle. And, uh, and, and buddy, you know, if you see this, uh, Mr. Marcello, my God, you know, I'd love to film a ride in one of these, as you can imagine, that would be amazing. And by the way, sorry for the shaking, I'm excited, you know, I've been working on this for hours, but, um, it, it's funny because I was talking about this at a friend of mine recently, you know, it's interesting that these snow blowers doesn't matter if it's these guys or the ones that attach to a tractor whenever they're going down any street the blower is always on the right side of the truck and the truck is on the left it's never the other way around and i think it's just for a better job or and also safety i imagine you know uh and if you can guess if you guess that that truck in the rear is supposed to be a ford l9000 8000 you are correct this is whatever nondescript uh i didn't want to do any of the modern trucks that are rolling with this blower because that's why i forgot to say i think this blower was probably built in the late 90s 90s early late 90s maybe even 80s because they didn't really change the design eh so and uh how much am i going to sell this for i want to sell it for 300 dollars because i know there's a few that's going to say it's worth more so again price to sell it's it's not too little it's not 200 bucks it's it's usually it's larger than the usual 12 by 16 it's uh, 18 by 22 and uh yeah this was actually a fun change of pace and it's funny because it shows it shows how i'm sure i've been changing a lot by an individual like not only like taking better care of myself eating fruit brushing my teeth every day you know all this is different stuff but and taking my medication all the time lithium treating the bipolar but also even the smallest things like how i do my paintings like honestly if you were talking to me a few years ago i would have never done a painting with snow like that i would have been afraid to do it. i said oh i can't do that it's too hard it's too much detail no no, I'm getting, you see, that's the, th the difference between aging and, and, and aging well. I am aging well. I don't just look healthy and look a bit younger than my age. Well, that's because of, you know, genetics. But uh, no, I mean, uh, just uh, just looking at all the details, looking at things, you know, with uh, more of a challenge and not being scared of, 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 of certain things like that, you know. So anyway, if ever you're interested in something like this, you can email me at Elton McFall at hotmail.com elton like elton john m c f a l l yes i still have hotmail i probably had it for like 20 years because i believe in the expression if it's not broke don't fix it and uh yeah if you want your vintage or old vehicle, no crap that's great elton you're just uh, charging that speaker you're charging the speaker because you listen to it so much and you drop it on the floor well i'm sure it's not broken because oh boy a wire came out of there right eh? there we go Anyway, best 45 bucks I ever spent for this little portable good job here. So anyway, like I was trying to say, if ever you want a uh, a painting done of your uh, vintage vehicle, old vehicle, um, you know, let's say price starts at 100 bucks for an 8x10 eight, eight canvas painting, and then it can go to 200 and then 300 like this. So basically, it's all about charging, not only for the idea, but especially the work. It's all about the work, and of course, the paint as well. So thanks again for watching, guys. Take care, and hey... Please share this video. It would make, might help my uh, business as well. And if you want to show your love and support, as you can see by this little office that I never repainted when I moved in this place a year, uh, 10 years ago, you want to send me something as a gratuity, you can use that email, eltsmcfaulthotmail.com. And by the way, if you're thinking about checking me out on Patreon and, you know, chipping in 5, 10, 20 bucks a month, something like that, be much appreciated. I post photos regularly that might not have been ever seen on Facebook and stuff like that, you know, so... I'm always trying to make the channel better. I think a lot of you guys have been watching a long time specifically. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, less swearing, less getting into religion and politics and all this stuff. And just focusing on keeping things positive and, and light and of high quality. Like using the, this phone to do the videos and the Nikon. Eh. Nikon I'll keep for the spring when it gets warmer again. The stupid lens doesn't go out of focus. Take care guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.